to thank you for coming over. And uh, this is uh, a very, very important event for us. So um, we, Dennis and I, will be your host. So the organizer made this uh, program very short and put it on the time slot where we normally go for snacks. So uh, as not to disturb your work. Today's event is very important and will become part of ERC3, so please stay with us. Before uh, we call on uh, Dr. Alisila, we would like to welcome our directors who are here, Dr. Uh, Bas Bowman, Dr. Uh, Glenn McDonald, um, and Ms. Fiona Farrell, Dr. Uh, Bruce Kino, and uh, who else? We also would like to welcome uh, other guests. We have many guests today. Uh, could you please... Uh... We, we have some delegates from the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industries. We also have uh, actor delegates and uh, uh, president of uh, uh, Mindanao University, uh, CMU, and Sultan Kudarat. Yeah. Okay, and we have here some uh, really alumni. And one of our Ili alumni is the person who wrote this poem, Metro Express Boundaries. Mr. Rizal Herrera is a senior uh, uh, scientist equivalent position during that time. And we also have um, the data management person during those uh, 1970s. It's, um, So let us welcome all these guests and here. Thank you so much for coming with us. Coming with us. Okay. So without much further ado, let us uh, welcome Dr. Irony Sila, our PBGB division head for the opening remarks. Good morning. And welcome to this very important occasion to celebrate with us, Priya birth of the cross 100,000. It gives, you know, the idea of what, what breeding is. It's a, it's a number game. I just learned this morning that the previous celebration was the IR 80,000 in 1990. And uh, BBGB forget to celebrate the, the birth of 90,000. But this perhaps gives an idea how busy breeders are. They sometimes forget to take the important occasions. Anyhow, breeding at Erie started in the early 60s. The pioneers, researchers, the big breeders, Jennings, Kush, they were the drivers of the first green revolution. And we all know what it meant. We, we multiplied, doubled, more than doubled the rice production globally. And no doubt, Erie was the main player in, in the world. And it has been a tremendous benefit for the poor farmers, rice consumers all over the tropics. Today, Erie has released, we estimated, some 900 varieties. Perhaps more, we, we don't know exactly, but close to 900, perhaps close to 1,000 in tens of countries, probably close to 50 countries. And work goes on, you know, we have the 9 billion collection. 2050, we are now 9 billion, 2035, we are 8.5 billion. Half of them eat rice as a staple food. So I, I think the challenge has not changed, it's perhaps bigger than ever. And works go on, if, if we now look what the the breeders of this division has done, and I refer now to Dr. Matteo and the varieties, some ones out there in South Asia. Just fantastic. It's changing the life of farmers and, and poor people tremendously. So, just to mention, we are not giving up, we are just getting to the full speed. So, this is this 100,000 just give you an idea that we are committed, we are committed as, as, as before, perhaps even more. We know what to do, we have new technologies, and, and really we are really willing and ready to take the challenge. 
So welcome again everyone and uh, let's have a good party with our new baby IR100 Council. Welcome. Thank you so much Dr. Anisila for that uh, inspiring thought. Uh, we will now proceed to the next part of the program and that is a talk by Dr. Glenn Gregorio on PBGD Varietal Improvement Mass I think this is a better mic. Thank you very much. And this is really a take of this. Sometimes in McDonald's, they celebrated their one, one billion hamburger, but this time at Erie, we're doing our 100,000, 100K cross. Just to give you the background, uh, we, have already, we are already 50 years at Erie. So it means we have. I started competing with 2,000 crosses a year. So that's the volume of crosses they're making. So breeders are playing around with the, with the different varieties from the Germ Plasm Bank, from the uh, whatever we, they get those varieties, and they make crosses, and that's where the, how we make this, this crosses. So making, making the best of it, and this is the 100,000. This 100,000 cross is coming from the irrigated rice breeding, and the biofortification. The idea here, they cross the insect RC214 or ERI 151, cross with IR, I'm not going to the technical, IR05 M109. This is a Japonica variety. Not very good, but a very good, very high, with an elevated nutrition value, especially zinc and iron. So the idea maybe in here is for a breeder is to develop a high yielding variety, which is a popular variety, insect RC214, to improve the nutrition quality, at the same time increase, increase, increase yield. So that's IR100,000. Okay, we have here, we have the actual IR100,000 that was born in 2012. It was crossed in 2012 wet season, and you could see it there, and the parents. So you could see uh, after sometimes we'll be going there to, to have a picture taking. Over here, just to give you idea how we, how breeders do the crossing, so you could test how to emasculate, how to make a, a plant male, and to make it female, then how we make the crossing activity, the tedious way of matchmaking. So we have the crossing block there, that we call it the temple of plant breeding, where we do the matching and actual crossing. And we have also here uh, Mr. Herrera, we have the opportunity, he is the one who first made the first cross of Iri, Mr. Herrera. And he made all that. He made this hard time to see how he romanticize the, <laughs> the crossing block. Marriage, respect, no boundaries. If you have any question, there's a, a lot of controversy about this one. So any question is that the RH bill, you have to ask. And so I'll get the details of that one. So we're just having this a very short ceremony. At the same time, I want you to enjoy, see around, make all this process. This is how we, we, we do the F1 and see the plants. We have a picture taking over there later. And I hope you enjoy this celebration. Thank you very much. <laughs> Many people are asking, what's next? I already had a thousand. Are we going more crosses a year or less crosses a year? As Ero told us, we are having, we are doing, before it's a number game, now we're doing precision breeding. With the new tools that we have, it might be, we, we will be have maybe lesser crosses, more precise. Okay, especially it's full cost recovery, it's more expensive to make profit. That's making breeders not just to dream but think to have to know the parents and make the cross to produce a better variety. Thank you very much. Okay, so I, I, I own an apology to uh, Dr. McDonald. I, Dr. McDonald, I always, I, I, I called him Glenn McDonald. <laughs> I'm sorry about 
Sarah. That's hybrid. That's hybrid. Yeah, that's hybrid. <laughs> Norman McDonald, so please uh, 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 accept my apology. And also, I would like to uh, welcome also uh, Miss Queen Taguerta, who are also here, who is also here. So the per the second part of the program is the unveiling of the uh, 81,000 cross. So we are now going to proceed to that area. And immediately after that, we are now going to uh, have the photo shoot. Photo shoot of this historical event. 